Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Once again in the series of 200 technical terms for civil engineers in part 11, I am the front of you. Guys, if you didn't watch the 200 technical terms, other parts, so the link is in the description of this video because this is very useful. Let's start guys. Today we'll get started in 200 technical terms from 101 term to 110 term because this is the part 11 and next video I will discuss part 12. Let's start. The first one to avoid the cracks between column and walls. To avoid cracks between wall and column. How? You can see guys this is column. Okay and here Next, you can see this is wall. Okay. So here, as you can see, this is brick masonry. Right? like this okay so here this gap so here it makes cracks when we plaster the wall and column so here it provides cracks so how we can avoid this crack between wall and column so dear guys use chicken mesh use chicken mesh okay between the gap wall and foundation then it will finish or it will avoid the cracks between column and wall so this is the proper method and you can see this is chicken mesh by which you can avoid the cracks between column and wall this is the first one guys the second 102 term minimum size of rcc column should not be less than 225 by 225 millimeter as you can see guys this is column size so the size of the column should not be less than 225 by 225 millimeter okay size of column otherwise you will face the problem okay the term number 103 can tell you area of column for top and bottom should be same area of as you can see here again Guys, you can see. Sorry for this. Okay. So, the top area of the column and bottom area. Top and bottom area. As you can see this. It should be same. It doesn't mean if the top is, for example, 300 by 300 mm. And the bottom 225 by 225 no guys it's wrong it's a mistake okay so the top and bottom area of the column should be same in any structure or in any building okay remember this point the fourth term five meter span between two columns are quite safe many students they are asking about this topic sir what should be the space between two columns are span between two column remember guys span between two column is quite safe that is five meter but in the case of if the size of the column is not less than 225 by 225 mm it should be 30 uh, 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter or 300 mm by 300 mm and use m20 grade concrete for the columns the dia of the longitudinal bar should not be less than 12 millimeter. The lateral ties diameter should not be less than 8 millimeter. The hooks should be available. The spacing of lateral ties should be between 100 to 200 millimeter. Then 
5 meter span between two columns is quite safe. Otherwise, there will be collapse. Okay? The term number 105 can tell you try to choose square column. Try to choose square column like this. Try to choose square column. For what kind of the load? If you have the axial load, when the load comes on the center, in that case, try to select or choose square column. And if you have, if you have eccentric load, if the load comes on the any point of the column, in that case, you can select the rectangular. But I recommend you that the square column is best for building construction. It can support the structure easily. Okay, structure load easily. Now, guys, the term number 106, uh, 106 can tell you spacing of lateral ties should be between 100 to 200 centi uh, millimeter, as I told you. Here, if you need, uh, if the columns are quite safe between 5 meters span. So, in that case, remember that the lateral tie spacing should be, you can see, the lateral tie spacing should be between 100 to 200 mm okay at the bottom try to do it with 100 mm but at the mid it should be 200 mm between 1 150 to 200 millimeter at the top also because these are lapping zone lz and this is also lz okay so this is very useful now guys come to term number 107 depth of beam should be maximum compared to its width depth of the beam should be as you can see this is beam so guys this is a depth okay so the depth should be maximum compared to its width for example if the width is 225 mm so the depth should be 300 mm okay so if the width is 300 mm so the depth should be 400 to 400 for 450 mm but the depth should be increase maximum okay this is very useful this is from the is 456 2000 reference and also these okay now let's come to 108 term use normal size of aggregate which is 20 millimeter and concrete especially if that is m15 or m20 grade concrete but use the normal size of aggregate or crush okay the term number 109 can tell you before starting concrete work and slab, the farm work should be check. The surface of the farm work should be check. Before starting concrete work and slab, check the surface of farm work. There should not be present any, uh, any other material. Okay, so the surface should be clean. There should not be present any kind of stones, okay, or any other aggregate, etc., or any oil or nails etc so the sur the surface should be clearly okay now is the last one 110 term can tell you check the jacks spacing of shutter uh, shuttering and slab shuttering and slab you can see guys here this is guys slab and here these are jacks are supports okay so the support spacing should be chic. It should be not more than 2.5 feet. The spacing of the jig should not be more than 2.5 feet. Otherwise, when you put the concrete there, so during concrete work, so the concrete self weight can make the, uh, the support, uh, okay, so the support can make, makes problem there. Okay, maybe it will make uh, bending moment, etc. due to a uh, lot of self-load of concrete so therefore the jig spacing should be equal and it should not be more than 2.5 feet okay are about one meter you can also keep uh, with the reference of aci american concrete institute okay so guys uh, these are 200 technical terms for civil engineers part 11 so i hope this video can help you if you need the other uh, parts of 200 technical terms, so the link is in the description of this video. So see you in next video and the part 12. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.